Hi, uh, just a short update on uh, components for the Raspberry phone. Uh, I started out with finding this um, yeah, finished thing here, a GSM module for, um, for sending. You can see up here is uh, the output for the antenna to plug in this little thing here and over to the external antenna. And on the other side we have space for a SIM card and this is these are the controls. Uh, the power supply for this unit has to come directly through these pins and not uh, via the Raspberry Pi because the Raspberry can't deliver uh, these bursts um, to uh, that this sometimes uh, well s while sending uh, can suck bursts up to two ampere um, and the Raspberry Pi can't deliver if it's not uh, powered right correct uh, it will stop send and you will just get an error or nothing actually well after finding this uh, and looking into it uh, I saw there is no chance to get sound in or out of this chip. So this is only for sending uh, messages or for uh, internet actually. And um, so uh, by a accident uh, or a good incident I found this card and this is uh, from ETAD and it's actually uh, GPS GSM add-on version 2 it's uh, finished, you can add it on the Raspberry Pi directly. Uh, it fits uh, this GPIOs and uh, you have to again power it because it's the same chip we have on it. So we have to power it externally somehow with something that can deliver at least two ampere in bursts uh, and not only use the, the power supply from here because it may could maybe work, but uh, it's said why not not to do it. And here we have actually an GSM a chip for it. And up here we have speaker out and microphone in. Um, and there are further stuff in here. You can upgrade some stuff for the chip. This is for upgrading this chip. And we have external power down here, and you can put in the power from somewhere else too. There is up front here a reset button, the above one, and here is a power key, so that's not bad. Um, yeah, that's a component more.